In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to design your module assets for interiors and exteriors at the same time. This is perfect for buildings, for houses, for rooms that need to contain an exterior and also an interior at the same time. And I'm going to show you how to do this for both for single plane geometry that's invisible on the other side, as well as solid box geometry that can be seen from all sides. It's just two different ways of creating your module assets. And I covered more of this in another tutorial, which I'm not going to cover here. And here I have two structures that contain an exterior, this wooden paneling that's been painted. And then if you go inside, there's an interior that has wallpaper. There's also a room that contains wallpaper on both sides, on the inside of the room, as well as on the outside in the saloon room. And then if I go outside, then we have that painted wooden paneling on the exterior. And this is a single plane modular assets being used for this structure. And in this structure, same layout, but solid boxes are being used for modular geometry. And also in this structure, I have an interior that has wallpaper on the inside. And then if we go outside, there is exterior, the wooden painted paneling. As well as on the interior, you can have both as well where instead of having exterior and interior, you have a wall that's both interior. Wallpaper here, as well as on the inside of the room here. So this is very important of modular design that you will often have to deal with and know how to create, having both exteriors and interiors for your modular assets. So let's get into it. So all of this starts inside your 3D modeling application. A quick overview of the scene, I have a single plane that's invisible on the other side and I have solid box geometry. Again, this is just two different ways for you to create your module assets using a single plane or a solid box. And again, I cover all of this, the pros and the cons in another tutorial. And then I have modular assets for a doorway, a window and a wall, ceiling and a floor. That is single plane geometry, as well as the same exact dimensions for the same type of assets, but using solid boxes instead. And then I have all of these meshes exported out of Maya and imported into UE5 and I've constructed the scene. Right here on the left hand side, these are single planes. On the right hand side, solid box cubes. So first is the simplest method is to use single planes. Let me go ahead and isolate them. And all you need to do for these to make them exterior and interior is to make sure that you UV them correctly. So let me open this up inside the UV editor so I can show you the UVs. So here's a single plane. The entire face occupies zero to one space. So this way you can place a tile and texture or a tiling material to be more accurate inside UV5. And whenever you duplicate this plane, everything will tile and you'll have no seams. And then the same thing goes for the doorway, for a window, for a wall, for a ceiling and a floor. So you can see all of them have been UV'd occupying the entire zero to one space. Now your UVs may be different depending on the type of mesh, you might use trim sheets, but I simply UV these single modular planes in the simplest way possible so I can apply a tile and texture on top and I can align all these meshes together without having any texture seams. I then exported all of these meshes into UE5 and then I use them to construct this little structure right here. And this is just a single wall or a window with walls that you can see on both sides. And then what you need to do is construct your environment, duplicating the single plane for both sides. So you have essentially two meshes. You have one mesh and then you have exactly the same mesh rotated and duplicated for the other side. So here's mesh number one. Here's mesh number two on the outside. And right here in, in between, I have a window frame. This is just a separate mesh to close up those gaps that you will often see because it's a single plane and you need to create something to hide those invisible faces in between. So on one side, you apply a material for exterior wall. And on the other mesh, you apply a material that's on an interior wall. And that's what I did. I have two materials created. Here's the wallpaper. And on the other side, this wooden painted paneling. And then by having the two different materials on both sides, two different meshes, you have an exterior and an interior. And of course, you can simplify this process instead of using two materials, use one master material and material instances instead. And then I did exactly the same thing for the interior of the room. So on these, this is two different meshes right here. Again, one mesh, that's a single plane on one side. If I delete this temporarily, you can see right through it. 
but because it's a single plane we don't see the back face on the other side but if I circle around you can see the face and then I simply took that material of wallpaper and just applied it to this wall so you can swap these out so let's say I wanted some exterior wooden paneling on the inside obviously I wouldn't have it but you can see how quickly I can replace it by just swapping out the material to something else and in this case because it's an interior of a room I applied an interior wallpaper onto both of these meshes and then of course I did the same thing for the ceiling and then for the floor now the floor doesn't have a second floor it's only a single story building but if I wanted to have let's say a ceiling that has one type of texture one type of material applied such as this painted wood and then on the top I wanted to have wood floor the ceiling is made up of two meshes one for the ceiling right here and then another one that has just a bit of a thickness added on top in between 20 units that's for the floor at the top for the roof so there's actually two meshes here one and two one for the ceiling one for the roof or the floor and let me pull this off so here's at the top and here's at the bottom two meshes are selected right now so if I wanted to have a second floor I would just simply select these meshes that will become my floor and apply a different material in this case I have wood floor and I would just apply them to all of these different static mesh floors and then for the bottom I still have my other static mesh which has a different material for the ceiling and then I would take all of these single planes making sure that I select both the exterior as well as the interior and then I would duplicate to create the second floor and that way I can have multiple floors with different materials applied one for the ceiling one for the floor another one for the interior wall and then yet another material for the exterior wall and you can see the construction would be very simple once I have the interior and the exterior created as well as the ceiling and the floor created and I would just make sure I select everything to duplicate for the rest of the construction now for the solid box modular geometry which is actually the better option to use for your modular geometry instead of single planes because solid box modular geometry occludes lights better and creates better consistent shadows and they eliminate any lumen light leaking that you may experience by using single plane modular geometry now for the solid boxes let me go ahead and isolate them control one so I can see them inside Maya you have faces that are being rendered on all sides that's why they're solid boxes and what I had to do was to create two materials and apply them to specific faces on one side that has one type of material and then a second material on another side so for this simple box right here this is a wall and I inserted an edge to essentially split this mesh in half so I have one set of faces right here these faces in the front contain a material called Lambert 1 so what I did I simply selected the faces right here the front faces as well as the faces on the sides one half of the mesh and then applied Lambert 1 material right click in the empty space and then go to assign existing material Lambert 1 so the selected faces now have Lambert 1 assigned to them and then I selected another set of faces the back faces including the second half these faces in the back so the back face as well as the other half of the mesh this is why I inserted an edge so I have one half of the mesh with one material and one half of the mesh with another and for these faces I assigned a second material Lambert 2 so this specific mesh now has two different materials assigned Lambert 1 and Lambert 2 now because the static mesh contains two material slots which means it does get an additional draw call so instead of one material you now have two materials even if they are material instances it's still an extra draw call but what this allows you to do now is assign an exterior material or material instance to one side and then another material or material instance to the other side essentially having an exterior and an interior and as far as the UVs go for these meshes let me open up the UV editor I UV'd them again also maximizing the 0 to 1 space so for example let me bring up the wall back this one right here and let me isolate it so this front face right here again occupies entire 0 to 1 space this way I can place one wall next to another and the tile and texture will just simply continue and then the back face for with the second material also has been UV'd in the exact same location overlapping the first face but because they're going to be different materials it'll just simply receive the second material and tile just like the first and then the faces here on the sides just simply occupy the small portion of the UV space right here on the sides as well as the top right here so everything is positioned inside zero to one space correct textile density but the main faces in the front and the back occupy zero to one space and this same thing applies 
for the doorway if i select the uv shell here's the uv shell for the doorway zero to one space as well as for the window also the same thing and that applies for the front face with first material and for the other face that receives the second material simply overlapping in the exact same spot as the first and i cover a lot of this inside the modular environment design masterclass tutorial course we cover all about uv in for talent textures as well as for trim sheets and then when you export out of Maya and you import this mesh into UE5, you will have two different material slots on this single mesh. So this is one single mesh that contains two different material slots. Let me go ahead and show you inside the details panel. You can see that I have element zero and element one, two different slots. And by dragging and dropping any material on front of the mesh or the back of the mesh, it allows me to have two different materials assigned to the front and to the back thus creating one for exterior and one for interior so i'm just going to drag a different type of material let's say for these back faces instead of wallpaper i want to have this wooden paneling so i can just drag and drop a material instance or a material on top and then i have this wooden paneling but for the front i still have the painted exterior paneling or well, let's say i want wallpaper on one but i want to keep that wooden paneling on the other that's allow me to change the look of this mesh to have an exterior and an interior. Now, what if I want to have wallpaper on both sides, just like I do in this room? Then you just simply apply the same material you did on one side to the other. Let's drag this wallpaper on top. So now I have a single mesh that can be used for another room that contains the same exact material to keep the same theme going consistently. Now, again, a reminder, this static mesh has an extra draw call because of the second material slot. Even if you're using the same material or that slot is empty, it still contains an extra draw call. So for the interior walls, if you're using solid modular geometry like this, what you could do is have an extra static mesh that's exactly the same one but has one material slot. And that static mesh would be used only for the interior walls where there's the same material applied to both sides or essentially to one full mesh, just visible on both sides. Or you can utilize the single plane geometry as your modular assets. And then of course, the same thing applies for the floor as well as for the ceiling and for the doorway and the window. So if I take a look at these meshes right here in Maya, same exact thing was done for these modular meshes. You can see I have an edge, so that way I can have one half with one material and another half with another material. And the way you create these materials to apply, just go to Hypershade, open this up. I have Lambert 1, Lambert 2, I created this Lambert by simply clicking on this Lambert, you can use a blend, you can use a Fong, just as long as you have a second material slot. And I just use the Lambert 2. And then you have two materials, and you just have to make sure you select the faces where you want to have one material. So by default, Lambert 1 will be already assigned to all the meshes in Maya. And then I simply selected the second set of faces, which are in the back right here. And then I right click in the empty space with those faces selected, and I assign the existing material, Lambert 2. Now this mesh has two different material slots. And I did the same exact thing for the window and for the wall, as well as for the ceiling, as well as for the floor. All of these have two material slots, each one for one half of the mesh. And then when you export all of these meshes and then import into UE5, you will automatically have two material slots that you can assign a different material onto each side. So if I select the floor, you can see I have two material slots. The ceiling also has two material slots. So in this case, let's say I wanted a second floor, just like I did for the other one. All I have to do is come up to the top and drag a different material for the top. And then on the bottom, I still have the previous material assigned, which is this wood floor painted. So I can just fly around. Let's say I want to extend the interior of the room. So maybe this is now an interior and I just want to make this area bigger. Again, I would just drag another material this wallpaper here i have wallpaper now on both sides maybe i delete this wall and just continue to create the rest of this environment with solid box modular geometry and i can continue to expand this environment further to create the interior while having an interior and exterior at the same time and that is how you design modular assets for buildings houses rooms to have interiors and exteriors at the same time and if you want to learn the entire modular creation pipeline, step by step from the very beginning to the very end, 
then take a look at Module Environment Design Masterclass. This is a tutorial course which will guide you through the entire Creation Module Environment Asset Pipeline for UE5 using Maya and Substance Painter. And everything you need to know about creating your module assets is covered in this Masterclass tutorial course.